What's up guys and gals and welcome to VV Vibes where I love talking all things VV NFTs, speculation, and of course the market. So today is going to be an interesting video. We just had Rewind Collective announce their new cards that they're going out with the House of Cards collection. So it's going to be series one, but part two. I didn't even know that was the thing. I thought it would just be another series, but who knows. But still, it's going to be super exciting. Already there's a gem squeeze going on. I know I had some people up some people asked me before like hey do you think the announcement is going to cause a gem squeeze i said unlikely because vivi literally told us about rewind collective announcing more cards or announcing more nfts like towards the end of this month uh but that was like five weeks ago but now just with the new information that we have here there is no denying that there'll be a gem squeeze coming up so uh, before we jump into it if you guys would like to support me uh via vivi nfts there's my qr code right there and if you guys want to follow me on vivi as well just go to fastos at 9.999999 million and i'll be there and i do update it probably once or twice a day so i'm usually at the top if not you can please just scroll down follow me there follow me i do post probably at least like once a day but i do post more often on the drop days just to Kind of get some feedback how you guys are feeling did you guys win the drop all that kind of fun stuff so moving forward we did have the the tweet so house of cards is a rewind collective's digital collectible series depicting courageous and powerful women throughout history both mythical and real who shaped the world so eight cards eight cards dropping thursday march 31st at 8 a.m in blind box format so this is a pretty big deal and um Again, it's also kind of weird that we're getting basically, they'll, they'll announce it a bit more in the Medium article, which I'll cover here in a bit, but these cards are animated. So that is a big deal. And that's the big question here. And I actually had it queued up right here is uh, Rewind Collective or say, yeah, the Rewind, um, yeah, Rewind Collective did post some tweets over the last couple of days or so of their animated cards. And right here we have Amelia Earhart, which is already on the platform. We already have Cleopatra as well as Amelia Earhart. So a lot of people are speculating, all right, are, is Vivi going to retroactively change these both of these cards to be animated? Because they do have this cool little animation on here of like a live actor or whatever. I'm not a huge fan of like the super glitchy kind of like um, weird kind of like graphic that's going on here. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, to be honest also i do think some of the actors do look kind of like low end i don't know it seems like they got a lot of their outfits from like goodwill or something like that it doesn't look very accurate i do like this pocahontas though because it's just i prefer to have different stills of them just like animate where they're just kind of sitting there um more kind of like lore accurate versions of the women i'm not a huge fan of like the the movement ones there's another one i saw here of um Harriet Tubman, which is which is a big figure out here in uh, U.S. history, but I didn't like this picture right here. Like the lighting is terrible; it's really hard to see her face. Also, the animation with the gun just looks kind of weird. So I'm not a huge fan of like that aspect. Again, that's kind of the thing about with these Rewind Collective and like the art and stuff like that. It's very subjective, right? At the end of the day, I do like the Pocahontas, where it just kind of it glitches out and it shows different stills rather than like an animated person using a weapon or kind of moving around or something like that. That's just me personally. Um, it looks like they haven't done it yet for Queen Elizabeth, but kind of getting ahead of ourselves here. Um, again, before we jump forward, there is a gem squeeze straight up going on right now. I mean, they announced it just a couple hours ago. Already, people are dumping a lot of things on the market, and that's for quite a few reasons. First off, um, the box price of these are 90 gems. So it's blind box format, so it's 90 gems no matter what, no matter what card you get. You know, you pay the 90 gems if you win the, if you win the lottery or you win the, you know, if you get lucky, let's say. You pay 90 gems you get one of the eight random cards so a lot of people are selling these off obviously not only to just make room for gems but also vv turned off gem transfers i mean less than a week ago so now people can't transfer gems to other phones or other alternate accounts or their family members or anything like that right now so right now i think what's happening is a lot of people are transferring a lot of different nfts probably most of them below three four hundred gems transfer them to their friends or to their alt accounts i mean i use two phones a lot of people use two three four phones potentially um, you know, as far as I know, none of that stuff is necessarily against the rules. As long as you don't have an exorbitant amount of phones per IP address, who knows how that stuff actually works. VV is still kind of unsure about what's against the rules and what's not. But at the end of the day, there's still a massive gem squeeze going on. So funny enough, like House of Cards, Cleopatra and Amelia Earhart's actually down, but that's mostly because they had an absolutely massive pump recently. Um, I think there was a pump probably towards, yeah, end of February where they did announce like, hey, there's going to be more rewind card collective stuff happening at some point, um, March but we weren't really sure when and of course it happens literally the very last day of march so it started pumping again once it pumped up it immediately sold off right now this has basically been the market sentiment for the last six seven weeks the second something pumps no one's going to hold it people are just going to sell it off immediately for profit i almost consider doing this myself of just buying one of these cards like either mid or late march but i just honestly didn't have enough gems like i just didn't have the 1300 gems to buy an amelia Earhart card or like 1500 gems to buy a cleopatra card so and you know you can see here you had to time the pump very quickly because if not i mean that pump lasted all but 
I would say six hours, maybe eight at the very most, then it immediately went back down. And if we scroll down, there's just a lot of things getting in the high 20s, high and mid 20s. A lot of things are just getting sold off right now. And I think that's only going to get, get, it's only going to continue to get worse over the next couple of days, all the way up until the drop happens. And even after the drop, I think people are going to continually sell stuff because people want to buy the set, get a certain card or whatever it is. So um, gem squeeze is definitely coming mostly because the high box price, you can't transfer gems and there's eight cards too. So there might be some people that want to complete the set or might want to get multiples. So I do think those are all factors that are contributing to the gem squeeze right now. So Here's the House of Cards. Here's actually the Medium article for here. So it says Series 1 Part 2. So I didn't even know like a Part 2 was the thing. Uh, the same series. So that's kind of inter interesting. Uh, but these cards are animated. It says Series with 8 animated cards. So it says From Mulan to Queen Elizabeth, Celebrating Women Across Centuries Who Are Legends, Warriors, Philosophers, and Leaders. I'll be honest, I only knew probably about half of these women. The other half I didn't know. That's because not only these are hard to grade price-wise, but also just popularity-wise. Because some of these characters or figures are really influential in different parts of the world. And maybe less so taught in the US, maybe taught more so in uh, South America or potentially in Europe or maybe other parts uh, across the world. But for me, I didn't even know who most of these women were. And it's kind of a nice historical lesson as well. So I did, did a very brief lookup of some of them, mostly just how to pronounce their names. Uh, so that was kind of the main thing. So kind of doing a price evaluation or price prediction is like extremely difficult to be quite honest. But I do think these prices will go for much lower than I think we initially anticipate. Like I know the mint number is relatively low, but right now everyone is doing everything they can to make profit on this market uh, while they still can. So I do think a lot of people might say, oh, these are going to go for a thousand or twelve hundred or fifteen hundred because that's how the rewind, the current rewind, current rewind collective cards are going for. That's a tongue twister. Um, but at the end of the day, I think every so far pretty much every single drop that's happened in the last month has always gone way under a lot of price predictions just because everyone's trying to sell we're in a very very bearish market right now so first off we're doing mulan so 90 gem box price that's kind of consistent with all these nine so all of these are ultra rare they all have 90 gems and they're all 999 editions and that's pretty much consistent with all of them across the board so they're it's kind of interesting because they didn't value one more than the other due to rarity or mint numbers or anything like that so that's super unique i'm curious if that's something they actually did with amelia Earhart as well as um cleopatra so yeah it's the same thing okay so they, they all have 999 editions so just just one shy of a thousand so that's interesting so we have Mulan, Joan of Arc. So Mulan, uh, I'm not going to read all this stuff, but uh, you guys can read it yourself. I'm going to put the Medium article down in the description. Joan of Arc, Queen Elizabeth, Pocahontas, Frida Kahlo, 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 uh, Anne Boylan, Emmeline Pankhurst, Emmeline Pankhurst, I believe, Harriet Tubman, and yeah. So I'll be honest. So I didn't know who Emmeline Pankhurst was. I don't know who Anne Boylan is. Uh, Frida Kahlo, I, I've seen her before. I've seen her her image, her face, um, in different art depictions and things like that, but I didn't know that was her name. I didn't know who she was or anything like that. Obviously, I know Pocahontas. I know Queen Elizabeth. I know Joan of Arc. I do know Milan as well as... Um, uh, Harriet Tubman. So that's the other thing too. So is, is Harriet Tubman very, is she taught about or do people know of her out in uh, parts of Europe? I, I would assume Emmeline Pankhurst as well as like Anne Boylan as well as um, obviously Queen Elizabeth is probably taught quite often in either parts of Europe, things like that, but maybe not less so um, in the US. So it's really hard to do a price prediction of all of these. If I had to do a price prediction, to be quite honest, I know it sounds silly, it'll probably just go with the figures that are most uh, relevant worldwide are people that know of them. So it's much like probably like Mulan, just because not only because there's a Disney movement uh, movie uh, of it, but it's just I also think it's probably one of the better looking um, cards here. I don't know what the animation looks like. I hope it's not one of those they have an actress that does like a sword swing or something like that. I kind of like the, just the stills that move. Um, they have like two or three stills. It's kind of similar uh, to Pocahontas for the most part. So uh, yeah, price predictions for these are <laughs> they're, they're really really hard to judge. But I will say. It would not surprise me if all these probably go for below 500 gems. Um, maybe the one that's probably going to be at the highest is probably Mulan, followed by maybe Pocahontas or Joan of Arc. But I do think Queen Elizabeth could be up there as well. Um, I think the ones that will probably do the worst, not so much the worst, you know, it's really hard to judge them based on their accomplishments. And I don't think it's, it's not, none of these are based on their accomplishments. I think it's just more like, are these well-known figures 
uh, for the most part? Are they known uh, basically on a worldwide scale? And are they recognizable? I think Amelie Pankers could, could potentially be uh, towards the bottom, maybe Anne Boylan. And again, that's mostly because I do think that most of the people on Vivi right now that are spending gems, like a good portion uh, the VV community is in the US and I do think a good portion of those people don't even know who Anne Boylan is as well as uh, Emma Line or any of these I do think Harriet Tubman could do pretty well but I do think the ones that will probably do the worst is Anne and Emma Line um, followed by Frida and then the rest of these will probably get intermixed but I do think Mulan uh, could be towards the top and again it's not comparing any of their uh, accomplishments whether they're real or not or anything like that it's just, just based off just strictly recognition so at least that's what I'm basing it off of and it's really hard considering we only have two cards previously that have done very very well in the app but these are also not linked to Givenchy or the pride thing kind of like what we saw with the with the cards prior these are just rewind collective they're kind of standalone things so i do think that kind of hurts the price just a tiny tiny bit um also we're in the middle of a gem squeeze not even gem squeeze we're just in the middle of a very very bearish market everyone's trying to sell everything they can to make any kind of profit um there's also so many cards right now that a lot of the money that that would be spent so if we had two cards i think the, the price of those two cards would go up a lot but because we're trying to spread the money of everyone at Vivi across eight different cards that's going to pull the price down across the board so thinking about this now i think none of these are going to go above 500 but i could definitely see some maybe hitting in like the 250s to be quite honest just depending on popularity i have no clue which ones are going to do the best but that's just my personal prediction um, that i kind of come up with off the top of my head so just be prepared i do think there this gem squeeze is already here it's already happening uh these are 90 gems each so these are not cheap at all whatsoever and because we can't transfer gems a lot of people are just selling nfts they're going to be trading nfts so they're alt accounts to so their friends their family whatever it is you know the bots are going to be going after this as well so they're, they're just expect a lot of nfts especially under the 200 to 300 gem category to be really really hit really hard over these next couple of days so um yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys take care and make sure to double and triple check all of your guys listings so you don't screw yourself over and i'll catch you guys next time